What's going on boys, it's your boy Trey here and in today's video I'll be showing you guys the best zero delay controller settings for chapter 5 Fortnite season 2. Before the video gets started, 99% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel which is actually outrageous. So if you guys can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, hit that notification, you can get all my latest videos. Also, I'm live on Twitch every single day, twitch.tv slash train you, it's on the screen and in the first link in the description. But as further ado, let's get into the video. So we are currently on my desktop and the first thing you guys want to do is open up the Epic Games Launcher. Because what you need to do is, the first steps you need to do is in the Epic Games Launcher. Um, go to library, go to these three dots next to your game, click that, go to options, and copy all these settings. The only things that should be checked is pre-download stream assets and Fortnite, obviously the Fortnite Battle Royale should be collected, but everything else, I, you really have no reason to have anything else. Like, disable all of this. If all, This really is adding to, like, you guys' controller delay, and if you feel delayed in any sort of way, this goes for keyboard players too. Disable these settings, you really do not need these. Click apply, boom. We're not done yet. I want you guys to go click to the little profile next to your name, go to settings and copy all of these settings as well. Anything like, only thing that should be um, enabled is enable offline mode browsing, minimize system tray, and enable cloud service in the preferences tab. Everything else should be unselected. Just do what I say. Desktop notifications, um, you guys can disable these if you guys want to, it doesn't really matter. Um, scroll down to manage games, only auto update, keep that on. Click your Fortnite tab and both of these should be selected. And yeah, just copy all my settings as verbatim. And that's everything you have to do in the Fortnite Epic Games Launcher tab. So diving straight into the video um, or settings. I play full screen in 1920 by 1080, V-Sync off. But I do play stretch res. I play 1720 by 1080. Let me know if you guys want me to drop a video down below. I will drop it. Um, 240 FPS and I play performance mode. Make sure you guys are on performance mode. Um, Triton up 10. For graphic settings, I have off, I have view distance near, textures low, meshes low, show OPS on. Uh, the last two settings are really like really optional for real. Going into the volume settings, and this is one that's kind of like weird. Go to go to sound settings, go to options, and make sure all this is like subtitles off, extra small, white, none, and clear. That makes a huge difference. Going to the regular settings, a lot of these is really like um optional for real, like or no preference based but the ones that are really important is go all the way down to where it says replays make sure all this is off it causes delay you having these on because i guess it's like recording your gameplay and yeah you just don't you want zero delay so make sure all that is off now we're going to the controller settings and i have control auto on on building builder i'm on builder pro build immediately edit whole time none Slide hold time 0.5. That's really a preference thing. It's all up to you. Um, vibration off. Um, reset camera axis both. For the sensitivities, a lot of people think this looks sensitivity and this aim sensitivity has nothing to do when you have advanced options, but it actually does make a difference. So I like 4.4. Four. I see people who go lower like one, but I just preferably like 4.4. Four. Um, and then put that back on advanced options. Um, for my build mode sensitivity multiplier, I play 1.9 for both. Uh, you can go 2-2 two, two as well, but I play, I just play 1.9. Sometimes I go to 1.8 depending on like how I'm feeling, but I keep it between 1.8 and 1. 1. 1.8 and 2 for both of these. And then for your look horizontal sensitivity, um, you want to keep this low. I see people go as low as 35, but that's kind of like too slow for me. But you want to keep it between 35 and 40, like 45, like 45 at the highest. And that's even, even then that's your wallet right there. So keep it between 35 and 40 in my opinion. Um, I don't have any boost, instant boost, I, have, I don't have any of that. For my advanced aim down sights, I play 6.5. Some people like play 10, but I probably like this because I already have stick drift. But like my controller, like it, my sensitivity is already like, kind of like not fast, but it's kind of fast. And like this just helps me track better. So I would keep this between 5 and probably 12. That's what I would do if I was y'all. Um, scrolling all the way down to my other settings, I play linear, aim assist strength 100% obviously, no controller player, and my dead zone is 9-9, I do have stick drift though, but I just preferably keep it 9-9, I, I just keep it 9-9, and then for this, I do have enable foot control on, that does make a difference as well, 
and going into my controller settings um i'm on an xbox one controller i have an xbox elite as you guys can see from the camera i don't know if my camera's picking it up but i do play an xbox elite controller um and i use two paddles or no yeah i use two paddles or three paddles basically i use all four of these paddles but like i still have a habit when i'm playing the game i still hold my controller like this as well as touching the paddles so it's like depending on which hand wants to do the action first so because this is how i normally hold the controller when i'm gaming and then sometimes i hit the four paddles sometimes i just play claw like normal and then that's really saying that will give you zero delay and hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said 99 percent of y'all guys are not subbed to the channel so make sure you guys hit that sub button um make sure you guys follow me on twitch i'm live every day streaming playing the game hosting tournaments i'm doing a lot of stuff on stream and peace out